Praise you the Lord. Praise you the Lord. Praise God in this sanctuary. Praise him on the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him on the sound of the trumpet. Praise him on the psaltery and the harp. Praise him on the temple and the dance. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him on the string instrument and the organs. Praise him upon the loud sounding cymbals. Praise him upon the loud sounding cymbals. That's it now. Praise him. Praise him on the loud sounding cymbals. Praise him. Open up, open up, open up. Open up, open up, open up. Praise him, praise him. Praise him, praise him. Praise him on the song and the cymbals. Praise him on the cymbal and the dance. Praise him on the string instruments and the organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. That's your voice. Praise him with the psaltery and the harp. Praise him with the temple and the dance. Praise him with the cymbals, with the string instruments. Praise him with the organs. 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 Praise him on the sound. Praise him on the loud cymbals. Praise him on the high sound. When you are born in fire, you gotta live in fire. You can't do nothing that's a lukewarm. The atmosphere, the atmosphere of expectation is a breathing crown. I'm breathing in this crown. I'm bouncing in this crown. I'm occupying in this crown. The atmosphere of expectation. Praise him. Praise him on the loud symbols. Praise him on the loud symbols. I don't know about you, excuse me. I love to hear loud. I love to declare the voice of the Lord. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Atmosphere shift. Atmosphere lift. Atmosphere shift. Atmosphere. Let everything. Let everything that has breath. Praise you, the Lord. Let everything that has breath. Let everything that has breath. If I don't minister today, your breath is enough to give God glory. Your breath breaks. Your breath lives. In the name of Shakurum, it's nothing impossible when we praise Him. When we glorify. Let everything says let everything that hath what so right now there's a flu what else is going on out there the flu what else COVID and they said RSV so all of those are happening three of them is attacking the world at once do I got any attackers in the church? Do I got any kingdom pullers in the church? Do I got anyone in the name of Jesus? Where you declare, listen, your voice is magnanimous. Your voice is magnetic. So when you were coming in, when I came in today, and you were worshiping, it was sweet. It was worshiping. It was permeating the atmosphere. God was doing something magnanimous. Open up your mouth in the name of the decree. I declare, not one will be sick in this house. I decree and I declare, help over this house, healing over this house, help and healing every part of our cells, every part of our muscles, every part of our organs. Let the church say, let the church say, let the church say. Let the church say, 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 I can take it power, let the church say, I can take it principality, let the church say, I can 
at your neighbor and say, neighbor, you can't stop this. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, you can't block this. Say, neighbor, what God is bringing, no man can stop it. No man can block it. Your praise opens it up. Your worship opens it up. Your worship opens it up. Your praise. When, when I was giving birth, um, Prophet Asi, when I was giving birth, and they said that I couldn't get no more epidural because I had missed the time. So when Rama was entering in the earthen realm, I didn't do this. I opened up my mouth and I said, Do I got any mothers? When you were giving birth, when what bubble so called some of y'all too stush, let me come over here. When I was giving birth, when I was giving birth, when I was giving birth, can I tell you that daddy wasn't there, but there was a father when I was giving birth. When he said, We can't give you no more epidural, I looked at the doctor and I was not nice at that time. I opened my mouth and he said, Push, he said, Push. He said push! He said push! He said push! Hey, hey, hey. I didn't say a lot to her. The doctor didn't tell me how. He didn't have to tell me how to sound. I knew the sound that needed to go forth. There was a sound because it let me know that Rima was coming through. There's something that's coming through. When you open up your mouth, I believe wholeheartedly, Deacon James. When we open up our mouth, there's something that comes through. Something that leaves the head into and comes into the celestial. When the terrestrial meets the celestial, there's a birthing. You birth it in your... There's a sound that the church gives when she's victorious. Can I get a ha? Can I get a holly holly? Can I get a holly holly? Can I get a holly holly? Somebody say life dominion. Somebody say life dominion. Somebody say life dominion. You're letting them know that you are sound and you are well. You let them know that there's nothing wrong with you in Jesus' name amen stay right there minister now you're playing my son I was wondering what's going on this is me play the play the symbols when you play the symbols it opens up come on church listen we could just have worship all day long listen it's the worship that precedes everything when you are giving birth to something you got to open up something something hits 10 centimeters something hits what church 10 centimeters i think yesterday was december the 10th right in the name of so i decree that you declare now see what you're holding see what you are holding See what you are holding. The pressure that you've been under, it's okay. It doesn't matter that the enemy tried to strip. The more he stripped, God clothed. The more, as a matter of fact, when he, I'm glad that that was stripped from me because God has given me something greater. He's given me something better. He's given me something that's going to last. If you can go through and be stripped and still stand, baby, you bad. If you can go through and lose a lot but you're still standing, you are. We worship the name of the Lord. Oh my God, my God. Go one with me to Acts chapter 3. Oh my Lord. I bless you. God bless you those of you who are watching. Those who are with us. You're listening to your sister. To your friend. I may have some daughters watching, some sons watching. Whatever the time that this message meets you. In the name of Jesus. Go with me to Acts chapter 3. Very similar, familiar text that we've heard. And we have preached it time and time. But I'm praying that you receive something from today. Help me with my shoes, Lady D, please. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I bless you, Lord. We're going to read verse 3 through 11. Thank you, Jesus. Now Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer, being the ninth hour. And a certain man lame from his mother's womb was carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called beautiful. Somebody say beautiful. Somebody say, Lord, make it beautiful. To ask arms of them who entered into the temple. Thank you so much. Who seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple, ask in arms, and Peter fasting his eyes upon him with John, said, look on us. And he gave heed unto them expecting to receive something of them. Then Peter said, silver and gold have I none, but such as I have, I give thee. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up, and what church? And what church? And what church? And he took him by the right hand, and lifted him up, and immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength and he leaping up stood and walked and entered with them into the temple walking and leaping and praising and all the people saw him walking and praising God and they knew that it was he who sat for arms at the beautiful gate. Someone say beautiful. When you see something twice, it means it's already established. Your life is beautiful. God is establishing. There's an establishment upon your life. And it doesn't matter what has happened. We decree today and declare it is beautiful. Come on, church. Say it is beautiful. Say it is beautiful. People looking on the outside are quick to judge and they're quick to say, but you got to know that it is beautiful. You got to speak life when something else is saying some opposite. Somebody says it's beautiful at the beautiful gate of the temple. And they were filled with wonder and amazement at that which had happened unto him. And as he, as the lame man which was healed, held Peter and John. All the people ran together unto them, unto the porch that was called Catricus. Put your name in there. 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 That was called Solomon. That was called Catrica. That was called Robert. Put your name in there. That was called Celia. Greatly wondering. Run with me real quickly also to Psalms. Psalms 40. Deacon, am I good? Online? Thank you. You may say, why well, I didn't give up this mic? Because it fits. Yes. I like the way it sounds. Amen. Look at Psalm 40. Verse 2, he brought me up. Come on, let's declare that. Psalm, Psalm 40, verse 2. Let's declare. Come on. He brought me up. I'm waiting for you. Come on. He brought me up out of the horrible pit, out of the miry clay, set my feet upon a rock. And what did he do? Did I not tell you that when we saw beautiful twice, that everything was already what? Establish, and this verse confirms that everything is already what established. Say, I'm living an established life. Say, God has established me. You got to know that you are established. It doesn't matter what the government says, you got to know you are a citizen in this kingdom. You are a citizen. I prophesy everyone. Everyone, everyone is established. You are a permanent resident. You are a permanent citizen, not only of the kingdom of God, but of the kingdom 
of the United States of the Y'all not believing it. Y'all not acting like y'all believing it. Say, I'm established. Say, I'm established. You are entitled to every right, every privilege. When the woman came, she said, God, hook me up under the table. God will do for you under the table what they didn't put on the table for you. God will do it. God will give you the connection with someone that has favor with you. And they will bypass the natural stuff. They will say, we're not at the queen and the clear. They're going to do what they're not supposed to do for my son. They're going to do what they're not supposed to do for my daughter. Open up your mouth and declare. They're going to do what they're not supposed to do for you. They're going to do. They're going to change their mind. They're going to say, I don't know why I'm doing this, but I feel led to do this. They're going to give it to you. When they took it away, they're going to give it to you in the name of your professor is going to do for you. Our children who are at college, our children who are on the way. Come on, church. The professors will do, will do, will do, will do, will do. Somebody said, will do. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, it's pulling time. It's pulling time. Look at your neighbor and say it's pulling time. Prophet Isilia, it's pulling time. Come on, my shokoraba. They're going to do it for you. I don't care how many times they tell you no. They're going to have to say yes. They're going to have to give it up. They're going to have to sign the documents over. They're going to have to release it to me. I don't care how many times they tell me no. I'm going back again. No, you know the opposite of no is on. Do you know the up? What is N O? If you flip it, somebody say on. Somebody say on. From no to on. Come on. God just flipped it in the name of Jesus. Are you queen and declare it's not a no, but it's an on. Somebody say it's on the way. Somebody say it's on. What was off is now what on. It's on. Somebody say it's on. Lord, just say it's not no. Tell them that it's on. 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 For those of you who are watching, God bless you. It's on. It's on. It's on. It's on. If they said no, God just shifted to on. If they said no, God just reversed it. You got to believe it's the power of your faith. Your faith turns it on. When it was standing with your faith that brought it back to life. When anybody was talking, they nya 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 nya. You the creator. In the clear. It was you in your inner room. It was you in your bathroom. It was you in your tub. It was you in your living room. It was you in your bathroom stall. Begin to declare it's on. Begin to declare it's up. Begin to declare it's out. Begin to declare. Father, we thank you for your spirit in this house. We thank you for your presence in this place. We thank you for your Shekinah. Father, we need you because you said it's on. It don't matter how many times they said no. You just said you reversed it to on. We give you praise. We give you glory. Now God sanctify this a lot of clay. Let teaching and prophetic release be easy. In Jesus' name. So, have a seat. Oh my God, I just want to give a quick testimony. So I sent something. The bank sent me something and I could not do nothing with what the bank has. Nothing to do with my word, but I just want to see where God is going. Uh, the, bank, the bank sent me something. I couldn't do nothing with it. And I said, what is? This don't make no sense. Then the bank said, go and give me this gift. This, this. I want this, 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 this. Have you ever been there? Have you ever been there? And it was so many disses. Now, now some of us will get upset and say, listen, chill. I'm in a business. Some of us will say, listen, I'm not even going to go through that. But because I know that was for me. So I went and I got about 50 something page documents. And I faxed it over to the bank. The bank then turns around and then says, listen, we're still not going to give it to you. I said, what? 
You must say mad. I said, you don't understand. This is a prayer intercessor. Listen, I begin to then look at the documents. I begin to breathe upon the documents. I said, God jam lock everything that Wells Fargo have until they open up. They said, well, ma'am, somebody reviewed the document and they said, no. I said, no, you, you got it wrong. They said, we're about to escalate your situation. I decree and I declare your situation just got escalated. I decree and declare they just accelerated and they said, we got to escalate your situation to the top listen sometimes God will have them turn you down so the top can turn it on sometimes God will allow them to say no to you just so he can go to the level above them and they got to give it in the name of Jesus there's a level there's a pulling level when you pull you don't pull just at any place but sometimes you gotta climb higher in order to pull so so they're now speaking to me prophet is still again they said they said no we we looked at the document I said no one of y'all needed glasses I did say that I said some of y'all needed glasses I said go back and take a look at the documents again and sometimes you got to tell them to go back have you ever had to talk have you ever had to war for what you wanted have you ever had to fight for what you really wanted now it's easy to let it go because letting it go perhaps won't mean much but what happens if you let that thing go and you know you're, you're not gonna have it like that again so when I called them, they said, no ma'am, you, what, what, you, what you're looking at is wrong. I said, no sir, what you are looking at is wrong. I said, get the documents before you let me help you. I'm that kind of woman of God. I said, maybe you misread it. I said, now take a look at the A clause, take a look at B clause. I said, take a look at C clause. All of a sudden, he became quiet. There was a tug of war that was going on. Because when God says something is for you, it got to be for you. And sometimes you got to get it to the ring and sometimes you gotta turn over some stuff and sometimes you gotta make it clear that you're not going nowhere until you see what I see until you say what I say until you speak what I speak all of a sudden the man is looking he said mm. I said do you see the mistake the person who actually looked at the documents before do you see their mistake we decree the I overturned every mistake in the name of Jesus, every mistake has now been overturned. How many times do people are incarcerated because something was not done right? How many times we didn't get what we're supposed to get because something there was an error in our thoughts? Okay, I'm not talking to nobody. We decree that we, we overturn. I overturn every mistake. I overturn every egregious error. I overturn everything that they said no to. And you know it's yours in the name of Jesus. I overturn it in the name of Jesus. I over and I rewrite it. They said, we're going to accelerate your situation. And they said, because you made me wait so long, you're going to now do an ACH Express check for what I believe. He said, ma'am, you right. The error was on our part. We decree and declare that they're going to say they're right. The error was on their part. We decree and declare everything that was a mistake in their eyes. It's for our favor in God's. So now they said, you right. There's some things you just can't let go. Some things you got to be willing to pull. So I come to my mind this house. The Lord said it's pulling time. And he says he's already pulled you through it. Growing up, we used to play a game called tug of war. How many of you remember that game? And, and they had some people. There were some people that was on your team. Amen. And, and the thing was making sure you pull everything over to your side. Everything over to your church side. Look at yourself and say, self, everything just came over to my side. Come on, everything I need just came over. You may say, well, prophetess, I've said this before. You are saying it today. You are establishing it again today. You are putting it into the ground again today. Everything just came over. On my side, you're, you're pulling everything over. It takes an indomitable strength. It means that you stay in the fight until the opposing team surrender. Every
everything that was in opposition uh, is now time for you to pull. So tug of war was tedious because because sometimes I don't know about you. If everybody was weak on your team, you or you felt that you were the strongest one. Sometimes you felt like you were the only one pulling. Have you ever been there? You felt like you were the only one pulling, uh, and you were wondering was there anyone else pulling uh, with you? Uh, then, then the opposition uh, was also pulling uh, because it desired victory also. But the stage comes when the rope does not move. It goes back and what forth. It goes back and what forth. I prophesy you just pulled everything that you need into your place. Everything that you need into your vicinage. Everything that you need into your space. Everything that you need into your home. I pull it in the name of Jesus. There is a place where your faith comes in and pulls what you don't got to work for. How you got it, I faith it in. How you made it happen, I pulled it in by faith. How did it take place by? So the stage comes when the rope does not move to either side. What then can you say about the magnitudes and the directions of the forces that are being pulled? So, so everything is pulling. How many of you have some things pulling at you? How many of you, it's like it's pulling and, and you're like, God, God just told me, listen, you have everything that you need. You've just pulled it into where you are. You've just pulled it in and it will not be retracted in the name of Jesus. And so now there's a rope. So there's a tug of war. There's a tug of war. Somebody say, teach apostle. There's a tug of war in which two teams are pulling and sometimes it can be evenly matched and the motion is going back and forth. God says no more going back and forth. Let your yay be what yay and your nay be nay. He says if you make up your mind to make up your mind, they're going to have to do it in the name of Jesus. In this life, extremes are always pulling at us. The world has a pull. Someone say pull. It's called a pleasure pull from the movies we watch. Listen, it's not there's nothing wrong with watching movies. Amen. I just can't watch 50 shades of gray. By the time I get to the 50th shade, I'll be black. Y'all not helping me up in here. There's some things we can't just watch. I can't watch 50 shades and then another 50 shades. I just can't do it because, because I understand it will impact and affect the anointing. Someone say anointing. Somebody say anointing there is no gray area somebody said pleasure pull because because that will awaken sexual proudness it will awaken sexual senses it will awaken sexual appetite and I can't afford for that to wake up yet I gotta make sure that is sleeping the Bible tells me that when he put Adam to sleep he pulled Eve out but Adam was what asleep and when Adam came to her he says, now you are bone of my bone and flesh of my... In other words, there was a marriage that was taking place. Come on, social media. Someone say pleasure pull. If I don't finish today, I'll finish it next week. Someone say pleasure pull. Have you ever watched, have you ever found yourself you're on social media and six, seven hours will go by and it seemed like maybe 30, 30 minutes. Come on. It seems like maybe an hour. You didn't even realize that you were on that long. Amen. Because it seems nothing. But then when you have to go to prayer, about 10 minutes in prayer, you buck it. About five minutes of prayer, you lean, and you're not leaning on the everlasting arms. You're not leaning, no leaning. Oh my, come on, thirty minutes in, you sound asleep. My God, you are sound in your spirit because your eyes just got shut. Have you ever been there? Y'all not helping me up in here? Yeah, 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 yeah. So there's a pleasure principle. The Bible tells us in the book of First John two and sixteen, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. Somebody says pulling time comes not from the Father for God but from the world. Someone say the world. Someone say the world. Consider the pull. The world says do you. Have you ever heard that? Just do you. Just, uh, just whatever you want to do. Uh, however you want it. Whenever you want it. Uh, just what do you. See messages when you talk about stuff like this. Uh, people don't want to hear nothing like this. Uh, but, but listen. Uh, if I do me. Uh, that means I'm not living this life just to live again. Uh, and I don't know about you. But there's a life after this life. 
life. Uh, the world says throw caution to the wind. Uh, but beloved, the world uh, is not living uh, just to live again. Uh, we as a light empowerment, uh, we as bent but not broken, uh, we are living uh, but to live again. Uh, the Bible tells me in 1 Corinthians 15 and 53, uh, for this corruptible uh, must put on incorruption uh, and this mortal uh, must put on in Do I have any church? Do I got anybody that will say uh, this corruption uh, must put on incorruption? Uh, this mortal uh, must put on immortality uh, and then shall the saying is, uh, oh death, where is your sting? Oh uh, grave! I can't just walk what I walk. Okay, the world says, do you. It's the old prerogative. You can do what you want to do. The world says, do you. It says you can drink what you want. You can dress the way you want. You can taste what you want. You can watch what you want. The world says, do you. You can experience any pleasure, desire. Do I got a church? Are you sleeping on me? Are you sleeping on me? The world says, do you? You can have a side piece while you're married. The world says, do you? I understand we're just flesh. So those also the Lord knows I'm just flesh. The world says, do you? Whenever we walk in the flesh, we are doing the world. But whenever we walk in the spirit, we're doing the spirit. The flesh and the spirit is contrary to one another. The flesh have nothing to do with the spirit. That's why sometimes you get so angry in your spirit and people think that you too sedity you just can't take mess because you understand when God has delivered you out when he has pulled you up and pulled you out and pulled you in what can turn you around the world is pulling itself apart well is pulling simple teaching the world is pulling itself apart the world is being pulled apart the world is apart Luke 22 and 31 says Simon Simon Satan desires to have you that he may sift you like wheat but I have prayed. In other words, I overrode what Satan desired to do to you. When, when everything was up against you, when, when every mouth was against you, when, when truth be told, everything was even true. But, but I still decided to override it. I overrode his access to your destiny. I overrode his legal right. He had a legal claim. But I got up and I blotted out. Blotted out every handwriting I hear the Holy Ghost. And every ordinance that was against you everything that was against me oh my daddy blotted it out so I don't care what they say if God blotted it out no man can put you in a prison no man can put you back in a casket no man can say why 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 don't care about your why everything has been blocked My divorces have been black, black, black. Now God is giving me a king. Yeah, yeah, now nah. God, 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 you're not helping. There's something that you know, and the enemy want to come up against your mind and tell you that you're no good. But you gotta stand up and say it's been black, black. It's been. It's been. It's been. It's been, it's been, it's been, now you got, 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 now you, now you got, 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 it's been blood, 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 now you. Hey, 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 hey. He blotted out all my transgressions. He blotted out all of my foolishness. He blotted out all of my mistakes. He blotted out all my carnal desires. He blotted it out. I know I made a mess, but he blocked, black blocked. 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 He blocked Look at your skin. It's a 
a new wine skin, a natural skin, but a spiritual skin. It's a new wine. He's pouring new wine. He's pulling new wine. There's a new wine. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, look at your neighbor. It's a neighbor. He blotted it out for you. So neighbor, he blotted it out. Come on, say he blotted it out. Say he blotted it out. He blotted it out. Lord, I don't got to go nowhere else. Say he blotted out. If God blot out something for you, stand to your feet and give him glory. If he, he blot out something for you, stand to your feet and give him glory. You are standing to your feet, not because of the apostle, but you are standing and you say, I am. There's now no condemnation to them who are in Christ Jesus. There's now no condemnation. I'm pulling. There's a pulling release. There's a pulling. He pulled me out. The very clay. He stand my feet on a rock to stay. He pull you out, Britney. He pull you out, Britney. He pull you out, Celia. He pull you out, Charlene. He pull you out, Charlene. He pull you out, Samantha. He pull you out, Catrick. He pull you out. Pull me out when I when I was so stuck and I was just in a mess and I was smelling everything that I was in. Just like when a man was at the gate and we don't know how long he's been there. The Bible said that he was born in it. The Bible said that he was birthed in it. The Bible said he came out of the womb from a disadvantaged perspective. But little did he know that was the last day he would be in that position. This is the last day. This is the last last time have a seat ay 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 to sift like wheat means to separate so god is speaking to Simon, he says, Simon, Simon, the enemy desires. Can I teach a little bit more? Whatever I don't finish today, I'm going to finish it next week because I can tell I'm not going to get through much because I'm still only on the second page. He says, Simon, Simon, Satan desires to have you that he may sift you. To sift means to separate, it means to pull you apart. So the power war going on over our children's lives. So we have to apply force when necessary. The Bible says there's Rachel. Rachel is weeping. Where are my Rachel? We go weeping for our children. When we see something that's not happening in their life the way they're supposed to, we begin to weep. We begin to cry out. There's a pulling. When a mother begins to cry out, when a father begins to cry out, God takes notice of when the church and so there's a tug of war over some of our children's mind and so that's why you and I gotta lay hands on them whether they're in the natural or whether they're over the phone I call my young king and I call my young princes and I call life empowerment in the morning whether we're on the, when we're on the prayer line or not I call the church and I say God take your mighty hand and lay it upon the head of the church lay it upon all of us in the devotion there's a tug of war that is going on. And so prayer must be applied to undo the undoing. They are specials and they are stars. They're going to shine forth. But the enemy tries to pull them into a direction. Trying to pull them into same sex. Listen. No, 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 no. If you notice, a lot of our young people are being pulled into same sex marriages. Same sex relationships that we got to stand and say listen it's wrong it's just as wrong as you and I lying it's just as wrong as you and I cheating it's just as wrong we gotta let them know that there got to be a differentiation there got to be light and darkness there is no fellowship between there got to be so we gotta pull 
The mothers of the church knew how to pull. Prayer has the power to pull heaven down. The Bible, I hear you, Holy Ghost. The Bible said to me in the book of Psalm 85, I hear you, Holy Ghost. Mercy and truth has met together in grace. Righteousness as peace has kissed one another. So there is a kissing in the name of Jesus. There is a kissing. Not one of our children will be lost. I don't care what happens. I don't care what they own. I don't care what they strung up because we remember where we once we were. And, and we decided that we had to come in every prodigal, every prodigal son, every prodigal daughter. There is a tug of war even in the church. Okay, the witches and the warlocks are now bolder than you and me. They carry Bibles, they speak in tongues, and they prophesy. Oh, yes, they carry Bibles, they speak in tongues, and they prophesy. Okay, okay, they carry, do you know they know their Bible more than you and me? Witches and warlocks and wizards and those who do enchantment. Say with me, say with me. They know their Bible more than you and I. That means you and I got to get in it. I don't know about you, but I said, God, give me a greater understanding and a spirit of discernment. The Bible tells me in the book of 1 Kings, chapter 18 and 19, now summon the people from all over Israel to meet me at Mount Carmel and bring the 450 prophets of Baal and the 400 prophets of Asherah that eat at the table of Jezebel. So they're coming in. We don't know what they're eating, but they're saying it and people are gravitating to it. They're eating. The Lord began to speak to me. God says, listen, Dora. There are people that are appointing Jezebels and spiritual Hamans and spiritual Absaloms that are over the people of God. They're becoming pastors and deacons and prophets and musicians and working all matter. I said, God, help me. The Lord says, God, I said, he said, don't your heart have to be convicted. I went back. I said, God, forgive me. I said, God, show me me. I don't want to look at no one else. I said, God, show me me. He says, there must be a conviction of the... There must be a what? When I was growing up, when I had my children, they didn't like peas. Does anybody have something that you wanted to feed your children they wouldn't eat? And peas, because you know peas was good. And all the, they didn't like peas, they didn't like, they didn't like carrot. They would spit it out immediately. And they would not swallow it. And even though I tried to do whatever I could, they would not swallow. They, they, they would not swallow what was good for them. They spit it out. Are we spitting out the spiritual word that we should be swallowing to make sure that we're matured? Are we spitting out what we're supposed to swallow? Because what we spit out, that's what makes us stronger. And what we refuse to swallow, then it makes us spiritually what weak. Okay, okay, there's nothing wrong. Somebody says pulling time. Stay with me. Somebody says pulling time. There's nothing wrong with feel good messages. Nothing. There's nothing wrong with motivation. I'm listen. I'm for motivation. There's nothing wrong with tell me something good. But somebody said balance. That tug of war. There were two what teams. They were both what pulling. Peter and John. There were how many? Two of them. They came into the sanctuary to pray. They came to pull something. Look at your neighbor and touch your neighbor hand. Says, I pull it out. I pull it off. I pull it down. Say, I pull it out. I pull it off. I pull it down. Say, I pull it out. I pull it off. I pull it down. I pull it out. I pull it off. I, I mean, it may look simple. It may look, but you don't know what you just pulled. For the person, listen, before they step into tomorrow, you just dealt with what was pulling them back. Anyway, but back. In the name of Jesus, there has to be what balance. I come to remind this house that the Lord is pulling us up. There got to be balance. We want to hear motivation, but also tell me that there is hell. So I don't wind up there. We want to hear. We want to hear satisfaction, but tell me about sanctification because I can be satisfied, but if I'm not sanctified, it all oh, y'all. Oh, we want to eat. 
stuff. But tell me I got to be able to make sure I eat the things that has to be what God says. That's why everything's are true. What all the things are honest. What all the things are just. What all the things are praiseworthy. If there be any virtue. If there be any virtue. How could a sinner pull power from Jesus and those that were walking around Jesus was not able to pull. I don't want to go to church just to go to church. I don't want to lift up my mic just to lift up my mic. But I got the hand pulling power that my said Jesus said something left me virtually left everybody that was around him was not pulling him but she pulled by the spirit there is there is because any of us can sing real good but do we have power 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 I want what Peter and John had come on what happens when the men begin to pray? What happens when the men begin to pull? What happens when Grandpa begin to pray? What happens? What happens when your son begins to pray? What happens when you begin to pray, young man? Don't you know the power that's in your mouth? That's so the enemy don't want you to say you don't even have to say much. But if you just say God, what happens when the young Johns and the young Peters begin to pray? What happens? When they begin to command and demand what happened? What happens? What happens because we see the men going to church. Oh, we see the men. Amen. Something that God is building in you. There's something that God is building in our men. Men, come on, real men pray. Real men praise. Real men worship. Listen, if your husband or your boo thing ain't doing that, you just keep speaking over them. You keep prophesying over them. Come on, church. You keep declaring. Come on, church. Yeah, 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 yeah. My God, my real man, real man, listen, if he, if he can only pray two minutes, praise God. That's two minutes of power that he pulled in. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, real men pray. Real men know how to lead the family. The leading of the family is not just in how much, but the fact of his heart. Come on, church. It's his heart. We're praying that our kings be reestablished. Our kings, in the name of Jesus, our kings will not be here by the roadside. Our kings will not be in invalid state. I don't know about you, but I'm raising a young king. I have kings all around me. So we got to speak to their crown. We got to speak to their spiritual crown. In the name of Jesus, real men pray. Real men praise. Real men got power. I'm talking about those who have a relationship. I'm not talking about those who have a mic. But those who have an immaterial relationship. Those who have been with God. Those who have had a relationship with God. Remember when I remember growing up, when I used to always wonder why my father. And I said, why isn't my father doing what he's supposed to do? And, and, and I, I was just zealous because I was wondering why isn't my dad doing what he was supposed to do? My dad was just doing his own thing. And I said, I don't understand. And we'll understand it better by and by. We'll understand it better by and by. And then it came. I remember going back to Bahamas about 30 minutes. 30 years later and there was something that was happening major in my family can I tell you church when I went to Bahamas a spirit followed me there and I was in a hotel by myself and Deacon Leroy had to contend with the spirit I never felt something touch me so when people don't feel that then it was not the Lord this was a demonic spirit then the Holy Ghost says get up announce your presence I'm going to pull you up because you have to go to your father this house uh, to set some things in order. Uh, he says there's a thing uh, there's something that happened in the bloodline uh, and it pertained to you uh, and so this thing got to break uh, off of you God. At this time I was weak. Uh, at this time I was saying God uh, why did my marriage fail? Uh, I was saying God again. Uh, God I'm tired. Uh, God I don't understand. Uh, I was saying God what's wrong with me? Uh, have you ever had to tell the truth? Uh, I know why. Uh, I said God help me. Uh, so when I Announce my presence. The Holy Spirit began to speak to me. He says there's atmosphere and power. See what was happening with this young man. There was an atmosphere. Something happened to his mother. 
while he was yet in the womb. Some of us have not even been birthed out yet, and the enemy attack us while we're in the womb. But new flesh is God before us. It's God before us. It's God before us. It's God before us. It's God before us. I went to my father's. The Lord began to speak to me. A B C. My father looked at me. He said, how you know? I said, I'm not that smart. I said, I have inside information. Peter and John went to the church. They had inside information. Stay with me, Mama son. They had inside information. The man is there on the outside. An ugly situation in a beautiful place. Okay, have you ever been there? When there's been two extremes. Two extremes in your life. An ugly situation in a beautiful place. When I spoke to my father, ABC, the Lord then began to tell me. He said, it's done. Within three months, my father got baptized. Within three months, he got baptized. Within three months, he got baptized. Come on. Within three months, have you ever have you ever had a situation where you're like, God, okay, okay, I see why. I see now why. And then the Lord began to speak to me. He says, you got to know how to pull. He says, daughter, everything that was up against you, he said it was your training ground. It was a training platform. There was a training. Somebody said training up. And so all of a sudden, we look here. After all that praying, Peter and John just did now they had to see if they had power to pull do I have anybody that have power to pull stay with me 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 I promise I won't finish it all today I'll pick it up next week somebody say power power to pull because I don't want to listen after I get through praying Pastor Celia and when I apply what God tells me I got to see manifestation somebody said manifestation time I decree and I declare manifestation time I prophesy Manifestation, manifestation over your household, manifestation over your children, manifestation over your bloodline. Somebody say manifest, somebody say manifest, Brittany, manifestation time. It is manifestation, and pull manifestation. There is a place. Somebody say pull, somebody say pull. When, when there is a pull, because we read here in, in Acts chapter 3 it says here and they took him up by the right hand and lifted him up and immediately his feet and his ankle I speak an immediate result is coming for you I speak an immediate change they had to undo what they did the bank had to undo because it was an egregious error. I, and I speak that they had to undo it they are gonna have to review it again Oh man, they can't do she carabato, Roshi Cabando, Riandi, a kid, a little boss, so called the little boy, Rushika, a robos, Sundia, Rebe Soto, Ruku, the little boss, Seke, a tabando, Ruku, the little boss, Sindia, Seterable, Rocke, Bando, Robo Soto. I come to mind this. been to a place have you ever been to a place where you when you say god i'm i'm, I'm believing but god help the spirit that the spirit is willing but the flesh is weak and so we can't pull in the spirit we can't pull in flesh because after a while we get upset but we got to be willing to pull it in what spirit listen we got to be willing to what church pull it in spirit that means we got to correct our attitude and then go back and deal with that thing again someone say pull i come to remind this house that the Lord says everything in your life is up. Everything in your life is up. And because everything in your life is up, we cannot afford to ever be down, ever be soiled. We cannot afford in the name of everything. Somebody say everything. We can't talk about one another. And then praise the Lord as Judas. We can't curse and swear but we thank God for the call that is upon our tongue. We can't do anything we want with ourselves. But we thank God that there's no more sheets, no more sheets, no more sheets, no more sheets. Come on, church. 
Uh, we thank God that God put us. He says, no more sheets. He says, baby, give me a shawl instead of a sheet. I want a shawl instead of a sheet. Okay, some of y'all didn't get that. Give me a shawl instead of a sheet. Give me a shawl instead of a sheet. Give me a shawl. Give me a Give me a Give me a soul Instead of a I want to say that again Give me a Instead of a 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 Tell the sheets become legal. Tell the sheets become legal. No, 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 we can't despise each other. And then the world comes in the church and becomes spiritually schizophrenic. We're talking about extremes and we're talking about a tug of war. I come to my mind in this house. God said, I pull you up out of the muck in the mouth. So no more bitterness, no more anger. I forgive. Uh, will you forgive me as I forgive look at your neighbor as a neighbor will you forgive me as I forgive you're not looking looking you didn't listen you're not just looking at that name but you're speaking to somebody in your family that doesn't want to forgive you or something went down the way it was not supposed to so that person serves as a point of contact and say neighbor look at your neighbor and say neighbor will you forgive me say neighbor Will you forgive me? I forgive you. I release you. We decree and declare no more muck and mire. No more muck and mire. I can't do muck and I can't do mire. Look at your neighbor. I say I can't do muck and I can't do mire anymore. I'm going to pick this up next week. No more muck and mire. Peter came and John came and they looked at the man. He was in muck in my he was in a play place he was in a place and nobody spoke to his situation they only gave him what he wanted they spoke and they gave him the flesh he looked at Peter and John he said I know I'm gonna get exactly what my God said I had this in the name of Jesus you will not get what you thought you're gonna get even better than what you thought you will not get what you thought. You're going to get better than what you thought. It will not be what you think. It's going to be better than what you think. Okay, I can only speak. Let me only speak, let me speak to Mama. Uh, Mama, God said in the midst, when we were singing a particular song, I saw Mama singing. I saw her rocking in the name of Jesus. And the soundness of mine, complete metamorphosis. In the name of Jesus, he was in muck and mud. He was in a place of where nothing was happening in the church. I can't come to the church and nothing happened for me. I want the same thing. If God can do it for the apostle, God can do it for me. If God can do it for the pastor, God can do it for me. If God can do it for my sister, God. So he's there and he's in a place of where he's used to. And the Bible says that he's in a beautiful place, but he has an ugly situation. What I love the Lord, we can come as ugly as we are. We can come as messed up as we are. Who am I speaking to? We can come as jacked up as we are. As a matter of fact, he says he wants you. That's why we have, when we look at the world, listen church, we got to evangelize. We got to tell people about Jesus. We got to, we got to. Because they're stuck outside wanting to come in. And when they come into the church, we cannot afford to be schizophrenic. We we cannot afford to be bipolar. We cannot afford to love one. He can't turn another. No time out for that. If you are my brother, if you are my sister, look at your neighbor. Listen, I'm not doing this thing. We can't be at the world. There's a pulling. There's a tugger. There's a pulling. There's a tugging. So when the world comes in the church, our head got to be right. Our spirit got to be. Our our spirit got to be, our head got to be, our spirit got to be, our head got to be. Peter and John, this is 
my first close and my final. They come and they looked at him. Somebody say part two. Next week. I'll finish it, I promise. But they come to the church to pray. Pause. Church, we have to pray. No, 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 church, we, we have to pray. Stand to your feet and I want you to pray for about one minute. I want you to pray. I want you to release something. Come on. They went to the place to pray. Come on, church. They were standing. Come on, church. Come on, church. Come on, church. Come on, church. You're praying someone out. Come on. You're praying someone through. Come on, church. Pray. I didn't say, say hallelujah. I didn't say praise the Lord. I said pray. I said pray. I said pray. Offer up. The Bible says that it was the third hour. They went to pray. It's not just Sunday morning when we're here. But it's through the week. It's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. God bless those of you who get on the prayer line with your apostle. God bless those of you. God bless, I don't even care if it's five minutes, ten minutes. God bless you. Bless those who are pressing in. Come on. Prayer. We have to pray. There's a prayer. Come on, Sister Brittany. Come on. Come on. There's a prayer. There's a prayer release. Come on. Come on. Come on. There's a prayer. There's a prayer. Somebody pray us. Somebody pray. Pray for this house. Pray for this people. Pray for this a lot. Pray there's a prayer. And pray for our children. Pray for our sons. Pray for our daughters. Pray for the Shekinah. Pray for the glory. Silver and gold have we none. So we know now it's not about the material. It's about the immaterial. Come on church. We speak to you up, 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 everything, everything that comes to attack our children's mind, everything that wants to come to pull them out of the place, everything that wants to try to sift them like wheat, in the name of Jesus, pray, pray, listen, we work eight hours a day, we got to be able to pray, even if it's five minutes, you are a midwife, what Peter and John were, they were spiritual, they were midwives, they step into that place of the midmen, since they're not women, but they were midwives, we are midwives, the church is a birthing place, a birthing canal, he was about to be birthed, he was about to rebirth all over again, this man that never walked a day in his life, his walk was shady, his walk was weak, his walk was not the way it's supposed to be, his walk, two men connected in the realm of the spirit, because they knew how to pray, they knew how to release power, they knew how to call in, you pray, and that thing break, every shackle, every shackle, every shackle, every devourer, every devouring thing, break, in the name of Jesus, break, we call out, in the name of Jesus Christ, we sabotage, we reverse, the works of the wicked one, in the name of Jesus, in the name of we call Peter and John to the platform. We call our Peters in our John. Come on, deacons. Come on, come on, deaconess. Come on, pastor. Come on. Come on, evangelist. Come on, praise team. Come on, my What the what makes you? What was it? Pulling time. It's pulling time. It's pulling time. It's pulling time. It's the prayer, the firm and effectual prayer of the righteous. We pull up our men. We pull them out. We pull them out of every horrible pit. He was in a horrible place. I go into my future and I pull my son and I pull my daughter. I pull my husband. Come on, go into the future. I pull wives. Come on. We go into the future. We pull ministers of this house. We go into the future. We pull them out. And we pull them up, 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 up. Everything in your life is up. Up, 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 up,
We pull up. We pull up. Everything, everything. Where Peter and John, we call Peter and John to the stage. We speak that our men, our men in the name of Jesus, men will come to this house. I believe, I don't care how long it takes. I believe, I believe. I believe the Bible says he looked at Peter and John expecting your expectation will not be cut off. My expectation will not be cut off. Sister Georgia, your expectation will not be cut off. Sister Sylvia, your expectation will not be cut off. Oh God, Evangelist Sam, your expectation will not be cut off. Your expectation will not be cut off. Come on and pray. Come on and pray. Yes. Come on and pray, Justin. Come on and pray. Come on. Come on and pray. Men. Great men. Power men. Come on in the name of Jesus. There's power in the men. When the men begin to pray. When the men begin to sort of my circle. It's the power in the men. We're praying for our men wherever they are. Wherever they are. Every man in the name of Jesus. In this house. Every man up over their lives. Wherever God they were stuck at. Wherever they faltered at. Wherever they failed at. Wherever there was a misstep. Wherever they stopped. Wherever they just stopped and they just decided to stay and accept it. In the name of Jesus. Nothing but a devotion. In the name of Jesus. He pulled this man. He had never had that power before. Father, release upon life empowerment. Who we've never had before. God, we know that it's only by your might. We know, God, it's only by your spirit. We know, God, it's only by your will. Release upon every sheep in this house. Every individual in this house. Father, we speak that, Lord God, everything is being transferred. There was a transfer of power. I want you to hold the person's hand next to you. And this decree, I transfer power. Everybody hold. Everybody hold. Give this to me. Connect with someone. Connect with mama. Everybody hold and say, I just transfer power. Sister Brittany, if you can go to that verse for me. In Acts 3, where it says, and he hold and he pull. Come on. There was a transfer. There was a pulling. In Acts chapter 3, there was a, there was a transferring. Say, I'm transferring something to you. It was his right hand. The right hand. I think it's maybe verse 7. It was a right hand. Something was transferred. So I'm transferring something to you. So I'm transferring something to you. So I'm transferring. Right hand. He did the call of us. Yeah, Go hold his hand. Yeah, the ball so cold of us. Transferring. Come on, I'm transferring. Come on, I'm transferring. Transferring. Transferring the power that God has said about you. I'm transferring something to you. You will never be at that place again mentally, emotionally, psychologically, physically, financially. I speak to finances. I know what it is to not have nothing. I know what it is to not pay your bills. I know what it is to not be able to even buy. I know what it is. But my God, I serve. The God, I serve. The God, I serve. I know what it is to be in an apartment and there's no furniture in the apartment. I know what it is to live on eggs and rice. I know what it is. The God I serve, I made a vow to God. I said, if you get me out of poverty, I said, I will never steal from you. I said, I'll never take from you. But I will honor you in my giving. I will honor you in my living. I vow to God. So, so my strength was once my weakness. When I was weak at... I vowed God and he heard me when Peter
didn't John pull them up he was leaning on them he was holding on come on you're holding you're holding that hand you're holding that hand and you're telling that hand that God will not let you go God will not let you go this is not it but God says everything in your life is up you got to see it he looked up first before he got up he looked up first look to the hills from whence cometh my help my help comes from the Lord the God that made heaven and earth he said he will not suffer your foot to be moved behold he that keepeth life shall neither slumber nor sleep the Lord is your keeper the Bible says he looked up and then he got up I speak up he looked up verse before this he says he looked up expecting I speak in the name of you look up keep your head up keep your head up keep your head lifted yeah the enemy wants you to hold your head down God says lift it up God says lift it up I may lift it up. I may lift it up. I may lift it up. You keep your head up, beloved. You keep your head up, man of God. You keep your head up, woman of God. You keep your head up, my brother. You keep your head up, my sister. Every hand that we hold. Daddy, you know what you need to do for your people. You said it's pulling time. You said it's pulling time. So God, that man had never, he had never experienced. God, we want a new experience. We come to church, God. I want, a re, I want another experience that I've never had before. God, that when I leave this place, that your head will never be hung down. His head, crowd ran to him. In the name of Jesus. I'll pick a part two next week. If the Holy Spirit says, go here. Father, every hand has been transferred. I hear the Lord said he just put something in your hand. I just, he just transferred whatever you are believing for. I know what I'm believing for. He has transferred it in your hand. In the name of Jesus. Yes, you've been praying for something in particular. God says, believe that it's already in your hand. They took him by the right hand. They gave him right hand of fellowship. They took him by the right hand and lifted him up. There's a lift that's coming over you. I speak that you're in a season that will never end. It's a lifting season. Everything. If I told you what I really need, well, your heart and soul says yes. If I told you what I really need, he thought he needed silver and gold, but but he needed something better than that. Well, your spirit still says. There is more than silver and gold. There's more that I require of you. Well, your heart and soul says yes. If I told you what I really need, we come to church because we have a need. We come to church because we know that there's something about when we come together collectively. It doesn't matter what we went through, but when we come collectively. If I told you, if I told you, there's more than I require of thee. God said he has so much more for you. Well, your heart and soul says yes. Father, we say yes. We say yes. Daddy, we say yes. Daddy, we say yes to you. 
we say yes we we bring what's ugly to what's beautiful we bring self we bring whatever it is you said that God it's pulling you said you've pulled us up and you've pulled us out and you've pulled us through you have pulled us in the name of Jesus so God we thank you tell me glorify you God we thank you and we remember in the name of Jesus you said everything is up in the name of Jesus. God, everything that hand needs, you are putting it in their hand. Everything that, that hand need, they, 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 they pull them up by the right hand. So everything that that hand is holding need, God, you said that you will provide, you said you will place it. God, we have no other choice but to believe. You said our expectation will not be cut short. You said we expect in the name of Jesus I really need will your heart and soul say yes will your heart and soul say yes will your spirit still say require of thee will your heart and soul say yes now will your heart and soul say yes your heart and your soul has been shifting too much will your spirit still say yes I say yes, Daddy. Will your spirit, when you don't feel it, still say yes until you feel it? If I told you, I really need. Will your heart and soul say?
to just say yes God yes Jesus yes to your will yes to your way yes God yes Jesus Father every instruction that just came from the woman of God Father we say yes we say yes God God we thank you God that sometimes it may not feel good but Father we still say yes Every instruction that you gave, God, we're still going to say yes. We're going to say yes, God. Do what only you can do, God. But we'll seal it with a yes. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Holy Spirit. Yes, 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 God. Yes, God. Father, we just thank you at this time for the word that came from your mouth, face, your oracle, the said woman of this house. Father, we thank you, God. And Father, as I just said, God, we will say yes. Every instruction that you just gave, God, we will say yes. And God, we ask that you help us, God, to follow your instructions, God. Because when we follow your instructions, God, we can't go wrong. So God, we just ask God that you will help us. Help our unbelief, God. Help us, God. Father, we thank you, God, even as she declared that word, God, that Father, you know her heart. You know her desire, you know her needs, you know her intentions, God. You know what it is that she's asking you to do for her, her household, and this ministry. And so, Father God, we thank you, God, that even as you do it for her, Father, that you will do, you will give her more than she ever expected. And so, Father, I thank you, God, that whatever it is she's asking of you, God, that it will come quickly, God, that there will be no delay. And Father, I thank you in advance. And I declare, God, the same way that she declared it's already done for us, it's already done for her. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray and we say, Amen. Amen. It's no time to give your tithes, your offering, your seed. If you need an envelope, just indicate and one will be placed in your hands. of you who can so a see towards the rent today please do so whatever the Holy Spirit lays on your heart thank you in advance You may lift 
lift your hands, your tithes, your offering, your seeds. Father, we thank you, God, in the name of Jesus, for every lifted hand, every tithe, every offering. Father, everything we're placing into this house, God, is a seed. And so, Father God, we help you, God, that you will help us, God, to pray over our seed, to water our seed with prayer, God, so the transformation will come. Father, we thank you, God, even as we place what's in our hand, God, that you've already multiplied what we have left. And so, Father, we thank you, God, for the thousandfold that you're already placing in our hands. And Father, even for those who don't have to give, Father, I thank you, God, that you will bless every empty hand, that it will be full to overflowing, God, in the name of Jesus. And so, Father, we just thank you for this opportunity that we have to give, God. We thank you, God, for the overflow that's coming. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray and we say, amen. You may bring it up with expectation. Won't forsake broken people like me. Maybe you could continue with the music until... I'm going to ask if you restrict your movement for me. Restrict your movement for me, please. Thank you, Jesus. Help mama. Help mama. Help mama. Amen. Father, we just thank you for your touch over mom. Thank you, God. This is a sacred time, so please, I'm asking that you have a seat. I don't want any walking back and forth, please. It's a sacred time. Entire service is sacred, but communion. And so the Corinthian church was a troubled church. And just like how we all have challenges in every church. And the people, this particular church, they had no problem putting up with certain things. And then the Lord gave an instruction. I'm skipping certain things about the elements. Open up the elements. Let me pray. Father, I sanctify and I consecrate these elements. 
as we each partake, we've examined ourselves. Father, you see everything. And as we take these elements, Father God, it will be befitting to our spiritual tabernacle. In Jesus' name. Go ahead and serve. For I have received of the Lord, which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, he took bread. Paul had received instructions from Christ regarding the supper. Paul the apostle had accepted Christ, amen, and he was very clear about the church and what God instructed. When he had given thanks, I'm asking someone to come and help me, please, with my element. I'll take yours and you take mine. Thank you so much, beloved. The Lord Jesus, the same night which he was betrayed, the Bible says, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, take, eat. The bread represents the body of Christ that died on the cross for our sins. He suffered many abuses on his way to the cross. His body was in rough shape. He said, take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance. May we eat in remembrance of his once broken body. After the same manner, he also took the cup. When he had supped, saying, this cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as often as ye drink it in remembrance of me. The cup represents the blood of Christ that he shed on the cross for our sins. The Bible says, without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sin. He says, as oft as ye drink it. You do so in remembrance of me. Drink ye, which was the blood. Go ahead and partake of the cup. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Please serve um, Evangelist Georgia. It washes white as snow. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood. Of Jesus. Oh, Mama. Father, I thank you. In the name of Jesus, I speak well. It is well. 